And still to come this morning, it's National Cheeseburger Day, and Applebee's is in our kitchen making a new burger for the special occasion. Here why it's called the All-In Burger. Yummy in my time. All right, thank you, Keenan. Good weather and good cheeseburgers, I guess. Today <laughs> is National Cheeseburger Day, and in honor of it, a local nonprofit is holding a special food drive. And Marie Laflame has more on how you can chip in along with a recipe for cooking a juicy burger. It's National Cheeseburger Day, and this morning we're joined by Applebee's executive chef Andre Rodriguez and Doug Chakowsky, chief development officer of Gleaners Community Food Bank of Southeastern Michigan. They're teaming up to go all in on this food holiday to end hunger in our community. We're so glad that you are here. So tell me about this initiative. Well, we're always pleased to be able to work with wonderful corporate partners like Applebee's, and uh, Gleaners provides 79,000 meals every year to people in need in Southeast Michigan. It's a key part of our mission working with corporate partners like Applebee's and we love this new initiative. And this is incredible. Everyone does love Applebee's and you guys are known for your burgers. Chef Andre, you're going to cook one up for us? Yep. And like you said, uh, with the all-in burgers, we're all in with Gleaners. So what we're doing today is we're cooking an all-American burger. All right. And what we mean by all-in is we cook all the ingredients right inside the burger. All right. So I'm going to start with a few of the ingredients that we put into this one, which is some pickles, some onions, and some bacon. And while I'm talking about this, you know, um, Team Showstack, we do a lot of kind of charitable events and we do a lot of charity throughout Michigan. Uh, we have 66 locations and some of the reasons we do that is because we're a Michigan-based company that's uh, straight out of Livonia, so. Um, and this is kind of how we smash everything right into the burger there. I'm just gonna take that and off. And that's there. huge. Definitely, that's how you kind of get all that flavor entwined into the burger, so. All right, we're learning something new, certainly. Definitely. While this is cooking up, how are you guys partnering? How can we get involved? Well, uh, today, on Sunday, we will be uh, at the Southfield location, the Southfield Applebee's. We'd love for people to be able to either bring a cash donation or uh, the various uh, items we have here is donated food items, obviously non-perishables are what we're looking for. Peanut butter, tuna fish, and canned vegetables are big pieces. Cash is always a great piece, much easier to drop it right into the can, and that money goes right back out into the community and buys food for people that need it. Which is fantastic, but you're going to get something out of it as well, right, Chef Andre? That is correct. For every uh, three canned goods that you bring in or every five dollars that you bring in for the event, um, we also are giving uh, customers back five dollar, what we call a bounce back, so they can use that towards their bill in their next uh, uh, visit to buy some of these great all-in burgers. That's fantastic. All right, so this is cooking up. What's next? Um, so we'll talk about a couple of these burgers here. So this one here we have is our Blazing Texan burger, which has seared in jalapenos that looks and onions. Hot. It is hot. It's got eight um, sliced jalapenos in total with a uh, barbecue brisket on top. All right. And then the next one we have a bar uh, uh, bacon cheeseburger, which has bacon seared into the burger and also layered bacon on top. And sweet potato cheese. fries. We were just talking. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> loves those, right? They are awesome. And moving over here, it looks like a little bit of breakfast. Yes. This is our brunch burger, which has ketchup, hash browns. It has a, a nice egg that when you cut into it, the, the yolk is going to run over the burger. So Very it's a great cool. sandwich. And then the uh, last burger here is the one that we're actually making, which is oh, the right. All-American. So that is huge. And some onion rings, you really can't go wrong with that, right? right? Correct. So for making this at home, any tips on how to make a really good hamburger? Um, yeah, a seasoned cast iron skillet usually is best to do. And that's what we're using right here? That is. And when you say is. seasoned, what does that mean? Seasoned's an, an oiled. Um, if you ever have a cast iron skillet, it's kind of handed down from generation to generation, so it's got a lot of seasoning in it. Um, and it's oiled well and it doesn't really stick, so those are the best ones to use. All right, and all the information with the website where you can find more on Gleaners? Absolutely, our, our website, and also uh, it is 11 to 5 today that uh, the Applebee sites uh, will be accepting our goods and, and cash. And uh, please visit the website and Applebee's, and we yep. appreciate the support. Yep. And what is the website? TeamShowSec.com. All right, fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning you. and cooking something Thank good you. for us. Thanks. Stop by Applebee's later today. Happy National Cheeseburger Day. <laughs> she seems you know, happy. she almost sold me on it. I don't eat cheeseburgers, burgers, but, but it looked good. It looked really good. <laughs> Just saying.